Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on the channel. I'm James, also known as Spinexo, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually fix the remote play issue that everybody's been having. Um, this has disrupted everybody's streaming, recording, um, and whatever else you do with remote play. And uh, it's just a bit of an eyesore when the uh, when the big box at the top comes up and it says remote play connected. And uh, yeah, nobody, nobody wants to see that. So what I'm going to show you guys today is a nice little tutorial on uh, how to actually remove that, because the last one actually got patched. Uh, you went into the settings, you turn the system language to uh, American or English or whatever, and uh, it would remove it. But now they release an update and it's uh, it's all changed. So uh, as you can see, guys, controller is turned off, not even on. I've actually got my Elgato in uh, my PC, so that's why you can actually see this. I press this. You can see everything is completely fine. I just have no audio because my um, Elgato, it, it doesn't work. It's... It's uh, it works. It's just it's just very weird. The audio just doesn't want to work, and it's all distorted. But uh, what I'm gonna show you guys now is uh, the remote play. So if I type in uh, remote play, we'll just wait a second. Here we go. Uh, select your console. Press this. Okay, so it's logged into my account. There we go. So that's the first step. You're logged into your account. Everything is completely fine. Launch your remote play. But one thing to remember is instead of your remote play account, which is your secondary account which should be actually on the, the software on your PC, uh, which is my Jams Nation account. That was my account logged into my remote play. Sign out of that account and put your put your main account in there. Make sure it's primary. Uh, log into that and uh, you can see full access or wireless. Everything's fine. But what it's going to make me do is sign into my secondary account, which is my Jams Nation. If I sign into my main, main account, it's going to actually uh, log me out and it's going to crash it. So there we go. I log into this. It says remote play connected. That's not what we want. See, controller still on. So the second step now, very, very simple. Press your controller button, go down to the bottom, click on your account, log out, as simple as that. You can see at the top, the remote play connected has completely gone. So the next step is very, very simple. Make sure you've got your controller wire, the wire that plugged into the back of this, plug it into the into your PC. So what you guys need to do, controller is off. You can see there's no lights, nothing. Get your controller wire, plug it into the back of the controller. Watch this. Controller turns on, didn't do anything, look at your screen, there you go, full access, everything is completely fine, I'm in full control of this, in my main account, you can see right here, here's my main account, just like that, got full access, and uh, yeah, that's completely it, you're playing through your PC, so you're not actually playing through your console, um, but yeah, that's that's the best way how to do it. That's the only way how to do it at the moment, and uh, it's probably it's not the easiest way. The other way was a bit easier, but it's a it's a very simple guide. So uh, if you guys have any problems, please do be uh, sure to put them in the comments below, and uh, and I can respond to you guys. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. Yeah, and I will see you guys in the next video. I'm murdering bees like I'm possessed by an evil spirit. I'm herding these sheep like a shepherd when I'm spitting my lyrics. Getting bored of all these vacants, everyone becoming gimmicks. I'll raise you up by your feet and defy every single physic. I'm evil inside, I got demons to cry. So when I'm alone with myself, I just want to take my own life.